Hello, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and today we are solving Buy None Get Three by Philip Newman. This is a set of three arrow Sudoku, three six by six arrow Sudoku that Philip has set for us for the 24th of December, Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas by the time that you're watching this. Two of them are pretty straightforward. Those are the ones that are marked 24 and 23. These are part of Philip's advent calendar. The one that is marked 22 is a bonus puzzle. It's quite a bit harder, but I will be walking through that one with you as well in this video. So let's have a look. So the rules here are, we have six by six Sudoku. That means we're using the digits not one through nine, but one through six, placing them once each in each row, each column, and each two by three region. And then in addition, in each of these puzzles, there are some arrows in the grid. And wherever you see an arrow, the digit in the circle has to be the sum of the digits along the arrow line. And if there's more than one line coming out of an arrow, that just means that each of these separately and independently have to sum to the value here. So for instance, if this was a five, that could be a one and a four, and that could also be a one and a four, I guess. If that two wasn't there, it could be a two and a three. They could be the same, they could be different. So let's take a look at this first one, the one that's labeled 24. So I have two arrows here that both end in four, and because our digits only go up to six, we can only add one or two to a four to get a valid Sudoku digit. So we're gonna put a one there and a two there and make that five and six. And then by Sudoku, this is now a five and this is a three. Now we need a way to make six using two other digits. One plus five isn't gonna work because we've used a five already, so that's going to be two plus four. But then we need a second way to make six and that's going to have to be one plus five. That's the only other way to do it with the digits that we have. One is the last digit in this column, that makes this a four. And then the only digit we have remaining that's bigger than four is six, so that'll be a six, that'll be a three. To finish this column, we need a six, and to finish this column, we need a three. Over here, we need a four and a six. Over here, we need a one, a three, and a six. Okay, we can't put a one in the circle of an arrow, and we also can't put a three here because then we would need that to be one plus two, but we've already used the one in the row, so that's a six. And it's a sum of two plus four, so those aren't sixes. And so the digit right below it is not a six, so this is a six. And now because we've placed a four, we know that that must be the two, that must be the four. This becomes a five, so the six is five plus one. That's a three. These are going to be one, three, and five because this already sees a one and a five. We know it's a three and three equals two plus one and six equals five plus one. Our last two digits in this column will be one and three and this column will be two and five and that resolves the four and the two and sure enough, one plus five equals six. That checks out with the Sudoku and that cell's gonna have a four. Now let's move on to the one that is labeled 23. And I know I just, showed the solution that just popped up in my Sudoku pad because I have already solved this puzzle prior to recording the video. Hey baby, how about we sit on my lap while I record? How about we, um, how about we don't scream? So let's have a look. So what can we add to a three to make a valid six by six Sudoku digit? So this, we can't add another three because these two digits both share the region with three. So we can only add one and two. There's a two there, so that's our one, that's our two, making that a four, making that a five. And this is very reminiscent of the beginning to the puzzle we just solved a moment ago. So because of this four, four has to go there, that's going to be a six. Four is three plus one. Five is two plus three, we'll pencil those in. And then the other way to make five is one plus four. These two digits, therefore, have to be five and six to finish off the region. This can't be a six because six would have to be three plus three duplicating the three, so that must be a five. And that's the six. Okay, now these digits are two, three, and four. This can't be a two. We definitely have a two here. This is either two plus three or two plus four, so this is five or six. And then these are from one, five, and six. This cell can't contain a five or a six because that would make the sum too big to be a valid Sudoku digit. So that's a one. And because these must be three or five, if you look at their row, this can't be three, that digit's too high, so that's a five, which equals one plus four. That means by Sudoku, this is now a six, this is a five, and the five is the sum of two plus three. But we have a three here now, so we can fill in that region. All right, these cells are now one, four, and six, and because we have a one and four in the column, this is a naked six, this is the four, and this is the one. To finish this column, we need a three and a five. 
To finish this column, we need a 1 and a 2. And we need a 4 and a 6 here, and sure enough, it checks out that 5 is 1 plus 4, and 6 is 2 plus 4. All right, now here is the tricky one, 22. Because we don't get to do the same trick that we did starting the other two puzzles off, because there are a number of different digits that we could potentially put here to add to 2. So, I'm going to set a few things up. So first of all, one thing to be aware of is that unless an arrow is only length 1 in a 6 by 6 Sudoku, you can't ever put a 6 along the arrow itself. The 6 can only go in blank cells or in, um, or in circled cells. So if you look at region 1, the 6 has to go there. And therefore, because we've used up the 6 in row 2, in region 2, the 6 has to go there. Specifically, this cannot be a 6. And we're going to hang on to that for a moment. Let me propose one other thing. In 6 by 6 Sudoku, a sum of two digits that adds to another valid digit, unless it's the like kind of edge case of 6 equaling 3 plus 3, which only works if your two summands are in different regions, it's definitely going to have either a 1 in it or a 2 in it. So like this has to have either a 1 in it or a 2 in it. Otherwise, the smallest it could be would be 3 plus 4, which is 7. It's too big. So because this can't have a 2, it has a 1. And because this can't have a 1, it has a 2. Therefore, if you look at where 2 can possibly go in region 2, can't go in those cells, can't go here because of the 2 down there, and then 2 certainly can't be the sum of two other digits that are different, so that's going to be a 2. That means there's a 2 in one of these cells by Sudoku. And because there's a 2 here, there must be a 1 there. This has to be 5 or 6, by the way. Okay, so now if we focus on this. This is not a 6, and it is 2 plus something. So if it's 2 plus 1, that would be a 3. It can't be 2 plus 2. It could be 2 plus 3, which would be a 5. And it can't be 2 plus 4, because that would make it 6, and we've already used 6. Therefore, you can deduce that one of these two digits is definitely a 3. But 5 is 2 plus 3, so this can't be a 5. This must be a 6 equaling 2 plus 4. Therefore, this is 1 plus 5, and these two digits are 3 and 6. That's now 1 plus 5. This is a 4, because 6 is 4 plus 2. These are from 1, 3, and 5, and that cannot be a 5, because we can't add 2 plus 5 in 6 by 6 Sudoku. So these are now 4 and 6, and these are from 1, 3, and 5. There has to be a 1 in this sum, because it's either 4 equaling 1 plus 3, or 6 equaling 1 plus 5. That's certainly not a 1, and that's not a 5, because 5 plus 2 is too big. So 4 would be 1 plus 3, 6 would be 1 plus 5, because we're not using a 2. And therefore, we have a 1, 3, 5 triple here. So these two digits are 4 and 6, and because we have a 3, 6 pair down here, that's going to be a 4, and that'll resolve this. So those are now 2 and 3, and those are now 1 and 5. So if we look at this sum, this can't be a 5, that would make it too large to be a sum of 3 or 5, so that's a 1. And that places a 1 here. 1 plus 3 would be 4, which wouldn't work there, so it must be 1 plus 2 equaling 3. That's now a 5, which makes that a 6. So the 6 is 1 plus 5, we're going to place a 6 right here. That becomes a 2 as the last digit in the column, so that's 6 equals 2 plus 4. That's now a 3, we have a 5 and a 3 here, and a 1. 5 is 3 plus 2, that's a 5. The 5 resolves the 1, 5 pair. That's now a 4, that's a 6, that's a 1. And we can finish with classic 6 by 6 Sudoku. All right, and that is how you solve all of Philip's buy none, get three 6 by 6 arrow Sudokus today for... Uh, today, as I'm recording this, it's Christmas Day. Um, they are the puzzles for Christmas Eve 2025. Hope you enjoyed those. The links to all three of the puzzles will be in the description of this video. And I will see you again in three days.